Good morning. Uh, got an email, woke up this morning, checked my email inbox, and I had an, had an email from one of our members asking about this particular question. It never hurts to do another whiteboard example of working Prentice's formula. So let's go ahead and work through this one together to see how we end up at the correct answer. This is one of the questions that's in the ABO review question test bank. I'm sure you may be familiar with it. This gal is not the first person who has sent me a question to clarify how you work through this one. The question is, I have a prescription of plus 10, minus two at 180 in my right. In my left, I have a plus 625, minus two at 90. Someone was trying to adjust the glasses. They squeezed the nose pads together and it lifted the frame up six millimeters. So, and, and this is super important. You think about this. If, if it helps, get a pair of glasses. If my OC is normally at half my B, right directly in front of my pupil, if I squeeze my nose pads together for whatever reason that might be, it picks the frame up, it up, up. It takes my OCs from here and brings them up here, up. The movement is in the 90th meridian. There, it's not this way. This would be 180. This would be a pupillary distance error. It pushes them in the 90th or the vertical meridian. So I need to work with the power at 90. In my left, I've got that. In my right, I have 180. Luckily for us, it's simple flat transposition in order to determine the power 90 degrees away at 90. If I have my plus 10 and I add my minus two, I've got plus eight at 90, okay, just flat transposition, nothing more to it. I go from 180 to 90, I've got plus eight, I don't need any of this anymore. I've got what I need to plug in for my right and my left. So if we work my right first, how much did I move? What is the distance that I moved? I moved six millimeters. How much power is at 90 in the meridian that I need is eight. For my left, I already had my power. Six times eight is 48. Mm -hmm. Six times 6.25 is 37.5 millimeters. The formula is in centimeters. I need to divide by 10 to convert that to that, 48 divided by 10, 37.5 divided by 10, P, P is equal to 4.8 and 3.75. That is the amount of prism being created in each eye. The two eyes work together, and depending on the position of the prisms, the power, the minus, the plus, they either subtract from each other or they add to each other. And in this case, you, this particular question came with a beautiful drawing as part of it. So what is this person looking for? If my OCs were here and we moved them up here, 
the person wearing that pair of glasses, because they are plus, is looking through base up, base up prism. And my handy chart tells me it's a canceling effect. So base up, base up, I subtract the two amounts. So I have got 4.8, subtract 3.75, 4.80 minus 3.75 gives me a total of one diopter of prism base up. My rules for base up, base up, tell me when it's canceling, I do only the total amount in the eye with the highest amount. So my total answer in this case would be 1.05 diopters base up prism in my right, because that is the stronger of the two. It's the stronger amount of prism present. The correct answer for this particular question, this series, is 1.05 prism diopters base up in the right eye. That is what the person wearing that pair of glasses would actually experience under this entire case scenario. I hope that helps. By all means, if in doubt, always, always, always draw it out. If it helps to have a pair of glasses, uh, you know, sitting next to you in the desk, uh, putting them on, moving them around, thinking about that. Visualization is going to be so key to getting these right, particularly when you're trying to take an exam of some kind. So there is your correct answer. That is how I got there. Hopefully that helps you on that question. And don't ever hesitate to email me if you have a question like this. Thanks.